哦，你活有间大酒店，有三个肥婆啊，可踢波可。I was late. I shouldn't have been late. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, we no thought you forgot, just... and we're like, "It's okay. We'll just reschedule." You know. We'll just, we'll just. We were like <sighs> recording. We're doing our own thing. <laughs> But it's. Uh, I just joined. Oh yeah, I'm so, so so. I was like eating food as well. <laughs> I was like, I was like, crap. We are Filipinos, so you know. Maybe we can just say expression. it's Filipino time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, that is nice. Uh, That's kind of nice. Better. That is very, yes, very nice lighting. Ooh, okay, Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Pass out. Pass out. Pass out. Pass out. Recording. Okay, okay. We're live. It's We're live. It's a fucking sound. <laughs> 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 okay. No, it, it's for her audio thing, so she knows where she's uh, starting. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hola, hola. Taiga, hola. Hello, everybody. Taiga, Today we have a special guest. If you've been on TikTok and Instagram, you probably have seen this hilarious content creator, Kevin. Who's <laughs> this mysterious guy all the way in Australia? Oh, Australia. Australia. How are you going? Dude, Bye. honestly, <laughs> honestly, I thought I thought um you were living in somewhere in China. Like for the longest really? time. Really? <laughs> yeah, no. Me. Like I, I guess so because I don't really speak English in my videos. That's true. Not at all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Only when you did like um I think when I saw the one um oh when you go to the school like uh get your report card and you're like translating. Ah、uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Translating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that video. Yeah. Felt that. I felt that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we grew up to. Kebeth or Kenneth. Is it Kenneth or yeah. Kenneth? Yeah, for me.、Uh, Kenneth. Kenneth.、Oh, you can call me both. Kenneth or Kenneth both works. Yeah.、Oh, that's your stage is... name, Kenneth. Yeah. Yeah, that's my stage name.、Love、that's、it. my stage name. Yeah. All right, Kenneth. Introduce yourself. Who Who are you? <laughs> okay, so I'm um Chinese, and my mom is Chinese Vietnamese, right? And I grew up in the land down under in Australia. Land down under. Land down under. <laughs> down under. Up... Okay, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in、uh, Melbourne because everyone thinks I'm from Sydney in Australia. Well, from Melbourne,、mm. yeah. It makes sense that you are Chinese Vietnamese because you know we were like, how does he know all the different words and the like different Cantonese words and different accents and the Vietnamese <laughs> version too, like. How? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even Macau and Hong Kong stuff. I'm like, whoa! I didn't know. I didn't know the differences,、yeah. you know. Oh、uh, yeah, you yeah, yeah. Oh, I just watch a lot of stuff on YouTube, you know, and then you just find it out. Like, I think Macau, like when you guys say like the word chicken, sometimes you guys go chicken with the hard C H. Chicken. Like that's something I just pick. Yeah, chicken. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> <laughs> just little I things. I just, I just pick, just pick up on things like that, you know. Oh, you're、and、observant. Like,、oh. You just like observe people. Yeah, I'm like, oh, that sounds a bit we interesting. <laughs>、uh, I'll keep that in mind. So you're,、uh, you said Chinese Vietnamese. Are you like your pa- your parents? One Chinese, one Vietnamese, or like are they both Chinese in Viet from Vietnam? So my dad is Chinese, like full Chinese, like he's from Guangzhou,、oh, right? Okay, okay, okay. And then my mom is Chinese Vietnamese, like she's originally Chinese but moved over to Vietnam.、Oh. Yeah, that's their family. So mostly Chinese. Like growing up, it's like ninety percent Chinese. Like the food, I I don't really eat Chinese food. I eat Vietnamese food because mom's always at home cooking and stuff.、Mm-hmm. Always, but then like.、Yeah. Yes, and then like celebrations and stuff like New Year's, it's usually like Chinese style. Yeah,、mm. but then like the parties are like half half. So like everyone at the parties, like birthday parties, they speak both languages, Vietnamese and Cantonese.、Wow. Yeah, and you're、so、fluent、cool. in both, I assume. Nah, I say I'm、yep. more fluent in Canto. Yeah,、oh, I would say I'm fluent、okay. in Viet. Viet's like okay, you know. Yeah.、Oh, so cool. <laughs> I wouldn't even say Kanto is fluent. Fluent Kanto is okay. It's just it's just okay. <laughs> fluent <laughs> enough to educate us too. Like、uh-huh. we don't know a lot of the differences that you mentioned on reels. We don't know.、Uh, <laughs> it's so interesting. Uh, just, 
Yeah, I don't know. It's just I, I think I think it's right. I don't know if it's all correct to be honest. <laughs> I love it. I love your disclaimer. Like I don't know any languages. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't like... know. I don't know. I just pick up what I observe and I just share it. <laughs> and that's very interesting because it's like it's only be. I feel like it's like one of the reasons why you're so observant is because like you came from such a rich cultural background but then you lived your whole life in like mel like melbourne um australia yeah. right so yeah, yeah. you have this other perspective <gasps> yeah and i feel that way with yasmin and i like there's times where we we put out stuff and people are like oh i never thought of that i never thought of that um like yeah. that connection like like the specific yeah. word like uh, or like some words that people don't know about like churya we only found yeah, yeah. out like it's only from Macau, not even Hong Kong people knew that. We're like, huh? Oh, yeah, Chora, is that really? Yeah. yeah. Like, try, like, like so we posted fun. a reel and they're like, what's this? I'm from Hong Kong, but never heard of it. Is it? Yeah, it oh, I think it was that word. I, yeah. I said, it's like, it's like in old Hong Kong movies, like, they cho, they cho, right? Oh, right? They cho, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 我還是喜歡吃麵包 <laughs> that's what it's from yeah, yeah no it's there's horror. some people people are like oh, oh I've never heard of that like why are you teaching stuff that's like we never heard of like, I'm like <laughs> my fault but it's always it's always like new stuff you know? that's like what's crazy it's like it's a little cultural things that you'll find and it's just like there's no way like that's the thing especially with Kanto stuff as well there's so many things that you just like like for example I've got his name the guy that makes like all these funny Hong Kong songs like uh the um, of course there's something Kwong Can Can I think I remember his English name Can Kwong or something the one guy I'm going to have you heard that song <laughs> yeah, like, like, going <laughs> Oh, of course it goes, but it's like <laughs> Hollywood, you can die, you can die, some go pay for a hot tech for hot tech for like that's an actual song, right? That's an actual song. Like my dad grew up listening to that, right? And you're like, there's no way that's an actual song, you know what I mean? <laughs> right? <laughs> so real. Yeah, it's just things like that. You're like, there's no way that's real, right? you know what I mean? <laughs> And I just find that so funny about like Cantonese culture and stuff. It is. Yeah. It's so they're so creative, like with all <laughs> the expressions. Super. Yeah. Wait, do you speak Mandarin? Uh not really. I don't really use Mandarin, but sometimes like I can say the things I want to say, mm -hmm. but then when they reply, when they reply, I'm like it's, it's like oh, a yeah. half. <laughs> 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 like, yeah. I relate. I relate. <laughs> Yeah, like the other day, I was at the airport, and I, mean, I was talking to her in Mandarin. I understood like 80%, 70% of it. It was just like, she was, the lady was just talking uh, like how, how bad her son was. <laughs> like, so it's like, yeah, so it's like, I was like, oh, I understand that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure, for but, sure. Yeah. Oh, oh so cool. I feel like that's a level of me with my pe like my mom's language, like because she's Filipino and I don't I'm yeah. not like fluent at all. Like, I, but I would yeah. understand the, the like. Let's understand. <laughs> yeah, like the the, yeah, the, the, the swear yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no so there's cute. no nice words. No, I don't. Uh, so, how did you started as a content creator? Like, what inspired you to like start uh, making these hilarious, informative? Cantonese content. <laughs> Are you? I mean, I did content like ages ago. Like I started around two thousand or like twenty or something, two thousand twenty-one or something like that. But mm -hmm. I, that time, I was just making like random videos and stuff on TikTok. Mm -hmm. But then I took a, a year break last year. No, mm -hmm. two years ago, I took a year break, and then mid of last year, I just like started uploading again. And then that's when I made the um. The video that series can't the similar words with Vietnamese. Cantonese and Vietnamese. yeah yeah and then I just like that like that blew up so I just continued creating videos like that and then after that I was like oh let's just try to upload more stuff so I started uploading more Canto stuff and that yeah. did well as well yeah yeah but yeah that's 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 like my influencer story so far. <laughs> 
Yeah. But the second one is doing better for sure. Like this more, I, don't know, I know, like a lot more, because I never did Instagram back then. So mm-hmm. there's like all new stuff. Because I oh, started yeah. Instagram, yeah, this year. Last year. You grew year. so fast. Oh my God. 100K. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Man. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I hit it yesterday. Oh, two days ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally. No, yeah. It's uh, your, like your content is so funny. And, and like, I understand that, 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 um, that, like, first it's like you, you've been posting random stuff, nothing. And then, oh, Boom. You really, yeah, boom. Like, you, you literally yeah. just touch your culture, your own culture, too. It's just like, oh, like, and no ex- shit, right? Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, it just exploded. And I was like, oh, so yeah. Cool. And I just kept kept doing it. Now I'm trying to come up with, like, new stuff now. And hopefully, you know, more stuff will blow up and stuff. Things like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, because, I mean, we had an episode, like, few few like few episodes ago, we were, like, saying, oh, we learned a lot wrong Chinese. Like, everybody's, like, telling, why are you, why are you speaking Cantonese when Mandarin is the more important one? But, hey, we just oh. had a call with Canto Mando, you know? And I'm like, <laughs> why not both? Like, no, Cantonese yeah. not dying. Then, literally, Kebeth over here, like, <laughs> pumping out Canto, yeah. Yeah. Pumping out Canto, yeah. Because I feel like, there's not enough Cantonese pop culture and stuff like that. Like if you yeah. if you didn't if you didn't grow up in Hong Kong, you wouldn't even know the newest no. Canto singers. No, there's no way you would know. True. Exactly. It's true. Right? Like rappers and stuff, you would not know. You would not know anyone. So then like if you wanna look at Canto stuff, it's really hard to find. Yes. Unless you grew up in Hong Kong, right? Then you can find everything. But when you grow up overseas, like you got Mando Pop, you no, know, you can find that. K pop. Yeah, you can find that, but like Cantonese stuff, it's like it's you can if you want to listen to Cantonese songs, it's always back to like Beyond. It's always back yeah, to yeah, the Palm old England. ones, the, tra- yeah, the yeah. traditional ones, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. classic. But there's no new stuff because you like it's true. I don't know where to go. You know, you don't know how to so, type it in Beyond. Yeah, At least they can in. type Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even type that. You have to type Cantonese songs, and then you it's find oh, what's Beyond? You click on it, and you remember Beyond. <laughs> yeah. That's so that's so that's why I was like, okay, well I should do because I was doing Vietnamese content before as well, but then I was like, I try to focus more on Cantonese stuff because mm-hmm. like Vietnamese is really big. There's a lot of speakers for Vietnamese, yeah. so it's like they already have heaps already. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'll just do more Canto stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 So smart. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Every time I see Kevin, okay, what's 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 next? Like it's so funny, all your videos. Yeah. Every freaking video I laugh out loud. It's just so <laughs> it reminds you know what? It reminds me of like when we're growing up in um like in our school in Macau, like because we were in a Chinese school. Our Cantonese like classmates, like especially the ones that goof around, like it just yeah, reminds yeah, yeah. <laughs> I laugh yeah, so all hard. The every random time. Stuff. Do you know the the um the song about me, like, you, you were making this reel on like Chun Toy Pay. <laughs> Do you know? Oh, Do you know yeah, the song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've yeah. never heard of that one. I've never heard of that song. Okay, I was listening to it. I was like, that's kind of <laughs> crazy. There's no way that's real. <laughs> so that's stuff that we learn from our classmates. Like, yeah, yeah, when you yeah, sing yeah, it yeah. in class. Those guy classmates, oh my god, they're like, mm, mm, bat man, you got Chun Toy Pay. I was like, I was child Pay. I'm like, what are you singing? That's the first time I ever learned learn what chun toy was yeah. Yeah, chun toy, yeah. <laughs> you're like spring uh, back you don't know and i'm like uh, what is that you know <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just like i don't know it's just things like that i just find cancy so funny it's like because yeah. growing up you grow out because i got like because my dad's like chinese so i grow like chinese parents and stuff right like my mom and dad so they're very strict right like Oi, mom, mom, mom. but then you find like the funniest side it's like oh it's totally the opposite you know of like how they act Right? It's so so I just think that's very really funny. It's so true. Yeah. Like it's like very like the humor and and the the mean side is so like close <laughs> to each other. Cause you know like when they're also being humorous, right? The stuff they say, honestly, yeah, yeah. you didn't know it was like, a joke. Yeah, and people yeah, yeah. like for example, people people know like I don't know maybe the British way is being sarcastic, but like Cantonese, it's yeah. so sarcastic. Like, it's so sarcastic. Call it mess, yeah. Call it mess, yeah. Yeah, it sounds Crazy. so mean. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like it's just what makes Cantonese fun. It's so yeah. Even like the tones and stuff, how you can say words, you can really change it up. Like that's how I got like the harms up low voice, right? But, Let's talk about harms <laughs> up low. Where did this inspo come from? 
Uh, I don't even know to be honest. I don't even know when his first when his first experience, uh, appearance was. <laughs> oh, I remember it was the um the the creepy Chinese uncle hits on you at the park. Oh that's my when God. the uh, yeah, that's when I got the teeth. <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> that's when I got the teeth. And then I was like, oh, everyone likes this. So I just start. I just I improved on the voice and I changed a lot. Uh, how how I did the voice and stuff? Mm-hmm. He sounds even he sounds even more harm now. <laughs> <laughs> more salt, more salty. <laughs> yeah, he sounds more salty now. Yeah, dude, I see all those um those gifts, you know, like that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't know where they came from. It's kind of, it's so funny though. <laughs> Hums up low, getting it like it's it's going everywhere. It's gonna be oh viral. They're like, what is a hums up low? Like, oh, what is a hums up low? <laughs> <laughs> just picture my face. <laughs> well, yeah, I just, I just like I don't know. I just improved on the character over time. Just like mm-hmm. weird things to say, the weird mannerisms, and just things like that, right? And yeah. I just got a bit at it. Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So, do um, people like recognize you when you like go out in the streets? Like, do do like Cantonese speakers be like, ah? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> last because I, I I live in like Melbourne, but like the funny thing is, it's like if you live in Melbourne, um, West Side people, like if you live West Side, it's all Vietnamese people. You live okay. East Side, it's all Chinese people. You oh, live South Side, okay. it's like all Vietnamese. But I live up in the North, where there's no oh. Asians at all. Oh. <laughs> so there's like I don't I don't really get recognized up here. Yeah. But then last week or two weeks ago, I went over to Sydney, mm. and Sydney, Sydney. Um, I recently just learned, like Sydney is like basically second China. Like I went there and it's like you don't you don't hear English there. That's how crazy it is. Like yeah. Cantonese. And it, yeah, you hear Mandarin and Cantonese more than English. And then like when you go to the shopping malls, like the shopping centers, they have it. The intercoms are in English and Chinese, oh. right? Yeah, that's that's how many Chinese people are there. So, wow. But, but when I was there, I got recognized. Like, oh, every day I just walk in. They're like, oh, yeah, it's that guy, it's that guy, it's that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then like I went to a music festival there as well for the first time, and I. Oh, I, I, I was taking photos like every couple of minutes, just like, boom, 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 like that. Yeah. Celebrity! That's so cool. Yeah, so I see. So you're kind of like Apaji, like, because she lives in Florida and there's no like Chinatown oh, over no, there. Yeah, so. yeah. I see. Yeah, well, like, I live this. Like, up where I live, it's like, it's very close to the countryside. Like, the, like literally, like, a five minute walk from my house. It's like kangaroos everywhere. Whoa. So it's quite <laughs> yeah, yeah. Noisy. <laughs> yeah, noisy, yeah. So you know, I live quite far up. Yeah, so there's not really that many people up here. Oh, but everyone everyone I've talked to, they all think I live like they either think I live in Sydney or they think I live like west east side or west side. I live yeah, yeah. I live I live I live up here. Live upside yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> It makes sense. It gives you more creativity, um, you know, home kind like space to like think, you know. It, yeah. In, like, um, yeah, yeah. Y- if you're in like the place that is like everybody is there, you you get kind of like inspirational. It's no so unique. Like, yeah. yeah. <sighs> I feel. But that sometimes too. I'm like, I, I think like sometimes I need to go to like those places because like to refresh. It, yeah, to refresh, go back, get connect back, right? That's yeah. why when I went to Sydney, I was like, oh my god, it feels like it, it's so different. It's like it feels like home. Oh. <laughs> it's so it's so many Chinese people. You don't understand. If you guys ever can ever come down to Australia, go to Melbourne and go to Sydney, and you'll see the dynamic, how it changes. You would love oh, totally. to. That is mind yeah. blowing to me. I mean, I mean, even yeah. even my first time in Chinatown in New York City, like one of the Chinatowns there, I was like, Whoa. yeah. There's the signs oh. don't even have English. No. Like it's like Popeyes. It's like. Yeah, that's crazy. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? But it's no yeah, English. it's interesting. Yeah. I was I was just thinking yesterday, like, because I went to Chinatown yesterday, but it's it's like it's like it was Hong Kong maybe like fifty years ago. It's like yeah. the old Hong Kong or Macau because. I don't know. I guess they're just later here. Like, if you come from Macau and Hong Kong, everything is more developed there, and like everything's new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you go to Chinatown then, here in New York, it's a little older. It's a bit older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now Sydney is like that. The thing with Sydney, when I was there, at least, I wasn't even in Chinatown, and it was like Chinatown. 
right? Oh, I was just in the city uh-huh. and it was like Chinatown. And then when I went to Chinatown, it was like even more Chinatown <laughs> than Chinatown. <laughs> right? And I was just Chinatown. like, yeah. yeah. And I went to like the like uh, like the little market there, and it was like exactly like you know those like these little markets in Asia, like the ones where they sell like the shoot the clothes and stuff. And it's all like very packed tight. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It was like that. It was like that. It was like that. Uh-huh. And I was like, uh-huh. oh my god, there's no way. That's like that. That's here. There's no way. Whoa! But yeah, it's very cool. Everywhere. But like, yeah. how how was it growing up in Australia, like as a Cantonese person? I know you said like in the Sydney side, like there's more Chinese Cantonese, but like yeah. for you, how how was that? Well, for me, like, I, I, cause I was talking, cause I met some friends in Sydney, and I was telling them about like my, like they wouldn't even, they don't even believe me, <laughs> but like, cause I grew up the north side, mm-hmm. I, I, there's no, there's no Asian people, so like I only have like three Asian friends. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and uh, one of them speaks Mandarin, one of them is Malaysia, and one of them is Japanese. So I don't have any Cantonese speaking friends, or or Vietnamese speaking friends. <laughs> so I yeah. See. But then that's not all of Melbourne because obviously if you live like east or west, because I think my cousins have a lot of Asian friends. It's just because I lived up here. Yeah, most of my friends are different. Yeah, but yeah. And like, does in terms of like, because um, I think a lot of, or at least from what I've learned, like a lot of ABCs, American Board Chinese here, are yeah. just sometimes growing up, they feel like they want to be more Westerners because like to kind of fit in. Like, did you, how is that in Australia? Did, is there that kind oh. of like, Maybe a little bit of I don't know, not wanting to be Chinese. I don't know if that's you a try thing. to be white. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, for sure. Like I think if you grow up anywhere in the West, you'll try to f- want to I fit guess in. So. Yeah. Yeah. So like I yeah at some point in my life I was like that, but I'm not. I don't know because yeah no nah, I did because I actually had a different accent growing up. Like, oh. I had, <laughs> yeah, Wait, did like, you were so, you not born in Australia? Yeah, I was yeah, but the oh. thing is, is like. <laughs> So I have an Australian accent now, but I used to have a, like a like a Greek accent. Greek? What's a Greek wow. accent? What's a Greek accent? <laughs> like 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 it's, it's called it's called a wog accent, right? <laughs> but I used to have that accent because all my friends spoke like that, so I developed that accent. Okay. It's kind of like, yeah, man, like like I don't know, like I'll, I'll give you the example, right? It's like <laughs> let's say I, I don't know what to say, like uh, because like. The other day, I went over to my mate's house, yeah? It's, it's something like that. Like, <laughs> it I, I sounds like a mix of Russian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's, yeah, it's like, it's so, I used to sound like that growing up. And then, like, oh, obviously, I stopped hanging out with them. Oh. And then, like, my accent changed. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah. But, yeah, yeah. I, I see what you mean. Like, you do want it for a bit. But then, I think after I hit, like, uh, like, Maybe 13, 14. I was just like, oh, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's just like, who cares? Yeah. That's true. Wait, how old are you? I am 21. <gasps> this year. Yeah. Oh, how sad. BB time. You want to guess how old we are? Oh, God. Uh, Trick question. <laughs> what? 28 years old. Oh, yeah. That's, that's accurate. perfect. Yeah. Did you see I a like post or something? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> You know, I'm actually very good at guessing people's ages. I never guessed wrong. <laughs> I'm the worst. I'm like the opposite. I see someone, I'm like, oh, um, yeah, you're 35, right? Yeah, I'm 20. Uh, what do you mean? Like, what? Especially people with beards. I'm like, I don't know. You could be You could be 40. I, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, no, because like I grew up here, like I told you, it's a lot of like like um European areas, so they all have beards when they're sixteen. So I'm like, <laughs> so I look at them, I'm like, yeah, I know, I know this is a young kid or old kid with a beard. <laughs> but yeah, it's just I don't know, it's just so going up. Wow. So you're still in, in university? Yeah, but I'm not doing university at the moment. Yeah, because mm. like all I just yeah. yeah yeah. Yes, me did gap year too. You gap year <laughs> students. Wow, you guys have gap cool parents, huh? <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even think I will go to university, to be honest. I'm not too sure yet. Mm-hmm. But we'll see, we'll see. Dude, you can uh, just uh, be an actor for all I care. Dude. I can <laughs> Full time harm so long. Full time harm so long. That's so cool. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, most memorable um, moment with a fan. I heard. I mean, you got. You probably have uh, a lot. So I was because sorry. it probably was more real when when people talk to you in person, right? Like on the phone and doing it remotely. It's like okay, I, I'm doing it. I see numbers growing, 
felt mm. like it probably felt more real when you're like in person. Yeah, I, I, I like I didn't have like a meetup, so I don't know like what it was like. Like, cause I like the people just come in, take a photo, and go. You know yeah. what I mean? But in Sydney, I actually did meet some friends. Like, they, they were fans. They full messaged me, and I went to Sydney by myself, right? So then these guys were like, they, because I was at the festival, and they messaged me like they wanted a photo, but like this guy messaged me, "Photo, please, die low. and I was like, "What does that mean?" <laughs> Right, I thought he just wanted a photo of like the thing. I'm like, what do you mean? But he, he turns out he wanted a photo with me. So I messaged him the next day, and then he met up with me in the city, and I just hung out with him the whole day, and I met his friends and stuff. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, so that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. He took me around all of Sydney, drove me around, get, like got me like food and stuff. So I got to see. Yeah, so that was very nice. But I guess that would be like my most yeah, that'll be like my most meaningful or like cool moment with the fan. I think that's pretty. Yeah, that's very meaningful. Like, wow, they, they like freaking even brought you around. That's so nice. Yeah, they drove me around. And like, they're like, oh, look how this this place is really Chinese, man. And they're like, this place is even more Chinese. <laughs> yeah, they're like that. I was like, yeah, that's that's pretty Chinese, man. That's pretty Chinese. <laughs> 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 that became your 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 main yeah. thing. <laughs> Like that, they're all so surprised because I was like, "Oh my, I've never seen this many like Asian people before." And they're like, they they look at me like I'm the alien. They're like, "There's no way, man. There's no way." I was like, "Oh, man, you should come down here, man. I'll show you." It changed like in these years for sure because I mean I've been to Sydney 2016, I think. Like it was like yeah. a very long time ago. Like. With church, I don't know if you know Hillsong, like it's a. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> so anyways, I they're pretty to, big. Like, yeah, yeah, no, I, I yeah. just went there and then like, yo, I, it's just I didn't see any Asians. Like, and when we did go like mm. for um like Chinatown to get like Asian food, like they ran out of rice like in the restaurant. It was like <laughs> I, I, there was like very little. Oh um, yeah, Asian yeah, culture. true. Like we were we had a guest on our podcast before, and they were like in Australia trying to get rice and they couldn't get rice so they're like oh. <laughs> so now I'm hearing this I'm very surprised and it's happy true, I'm like true. hey I can't wait to like visit and check it out well you right should I, I don't know I was just in the city and I was just mind blown like I wasn't even in Chinatown I was just walking around in the city but oh. there's like more and more Chinese people because everyone wants to move to Sydney for some reason, I don't know why, but all the Chinese people, all the rich Chinese people, all want to move to Sydney. You know, no I kind of like, can see that because I, I do have friends who are like more rich and they're like, yeah, they all like want to move to Sydney or some of them yeah. are already moved to Sydney. Yeah, but no one wants to move to Melbourne. I don't know why because like, I was talking to those Sydney friends and they're like, oh, this place is going to be like the new Chinatown. This place is going to be the new I was like, God damn, that's, that's crazy. Like they have Korea towns there. We don't have Korea town here in, in um, Melbourne at all. And they're like, oh, that's just. And I was like, oh, so that. I thought it was like, you know, how Chinatown's like one Chinatown. I, yeah. I don't know if in Melbourne, right? They have multiple Ch- uh, Korea towns in Sydney. <laughs> yeah, in each suburb, apparently what? they have like different Korea towns. I was like, what do you mean? Wow. <laughs> that's a lot. It's like kind of like city. New York City, no? Like yeah. New York City, when New York like City has Italy. two. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. We have like the main Chinatown, and then there's the new one, which is like Queens Flushing. Yeah, and that's like more new, more. But yeah, new. Chi- uh, new York City, I heard, is very diverse as well. I've seen some like videos there. I'd say it's probably like as diverse as Melbourne. I see the. It feels like it's just all Chinese people. <laughs> not like, diverse Melbourne. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like, I'm serious. Like I, I was at, I was staying at Airbnb, and like. Like I talked to like uh, like different people and they're all dating. Like these guys are different races. Like one was a Lebanese guy. This guy I think was Aussie. They're both dating Chinese girls because there's only Chinese people there. So I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like do you know how mind blowing that? Is? But, like the Airbnb guy I was like, oh no, I think his girl was Indonesian, right? And then the Lebanese guy was Chinese. I was like, that's yeah, that's crazy. I've never seen that before. <laughs> that's so crazy! Wow, we're oh, everywhere. That's... I know, right? Yeah. Um, kind of think of that cool, whenever though. you like go like um, travel, you always see an Australian, you know? Like maybe that's why really? they're all gone. <laughs> maybe like they <laughs> left and just, <laughs> it's just everything like just switched. Because <laughs> like um, my husband always said like because he, he was a backpacker and like he mentioned yeah. that he went to the Great Wall of China and then there was a... A crazy, he was like crazy Australian was there and he did a yeah. shoey after <laughs> climbing a shoey I mean is um What's a is when oh. Kevin say alright so you get yourself a little beer right 
and you get your shoe, right? And you put the bee inside the shoe and you give it a little scowl. You scowl the bee. <laughs> scowl the bee down. <laughs> Dude, they do why? this. Uh -huh. I don't know do why. This. I've never done it. Just FYI, I've never done it. Okay? Just, make, done just it. making sure. I've never done it, but I thought it always tastes the best after you go for a run, before you've gone for a run. <laughs> Salty, wet flavor. Yes. Uh, you have to do a real about it. I imagine like most no. people be like, wow. I'm going to move. I'm going to move. So oh, yeah. Too good, too good. That is too good. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, In your experience, like creating content, um, like Cantonese, Vietnamese, and all the like, language-related stuff, do you get mm. like a lot of hate comments on like you doing it wrong or like correcting you or or just any kind of like challenges in terms of that? Yeah. Uh sometimes like people like people like try to correct me, but not really. But because uh, I feel like <laughs> even if it's wrong, people don't know if it's wrong because <laughs> Canada is so big. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> right? It's so right? diverse, right? Yeah, it's so diverse. So yeah. like, to be honest, I don't really get people correcting me. But I guess one time I think so. It was like something Korean, like eating, like Koreans eat. And I, like, I picked up the bowl or something and then like someone grilled me. I was like, Koreans don't pick up their bowl. And then like, I just sent them a link of like a Korean mukbang and the guy was eating the bowl. <laughs> so, like, oh. I love it. <laughs> so like, like, it wasn't like, but that's like the one thing. That's like one thing. Cause people, or maybe people call me like, on go day sometimes. On go day. But with, but with the other go, you know, with the nine. Yeah, that one. Go. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So sometimes, but like, uh, it's just, I don't really care. You know, it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Always. It's... No, you got to keep doing it. It's just, I feel like it makes more people laugh than it makes people angry, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I understand that part. That's why like, I try not to get too bored. Because it's like, it's just like one guy. It's just like, oh, cool. Uh, yeah, nice. Here, thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up for you. <laughs> hey, of course I am. Of course I am. Yeah, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Engagement, thank you. Like, engagement. Thank you. 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 Really care that much, yeah. That's yeah, good. Yeah. Continue not just, to care. Just continue yeah. to thrive. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> whenever we get like comments like that, it's just like, um, I I try hard not to think about it. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. But for what, you know? Like, you know yeah, when, you, when you when you when you like teach something and they would be like, hi, mama, mama, me, like isn't it blah blah blah? Like yo. Yeah, it, it can. It can be. Yeah, you know? yeah, it can be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you can also post videos about it. You know, it doesn't have to be just us. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, see, but like, I feel like when you make more like strictly educational content, people are gonna try to be more strict on it. Mm -hmm. true. But because whereas my stuff, it's like more skits and stuff, and it's yeah, also educational. True. It's like it, it's some people just like they they laugh so hard they forget to hate. Right, they're just like, <laughs> right. That's true. But it's like, cause I've seen, I've seen people like on like other tick, um, tick, uh, Canto creators. People will be like, "Oh, you're pronouncing this wrong," and I really try to gatekeep Cantonese. Oh no, this guy's not even Canto and stuff. Gatekeeping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, we, I got like, a comment before. It was like, "Oh, why am I gonna learn Cantonese from someone that's not even Asian?" Yeah, I'm, See, they check, like I'm, I'm full Asian. <laughs> <laughs> More diverse as well. You're Filipino, Sri Lankan as well. Yeah. yeah. So you got, you got, you got um, adobo and you got kotu as well. Yeah. <laughs> he knows. So cool. Oh, yes. Okay. Have you always been like a uh, class clown kind of personality or like did you have any comedians inspired you in terms of like the things you make? Yeah. Growing up I always like the like the guy that makes the jokes and stuff. Just try to be funny and stuff. Um but yeah, there's this like heaps of comedians that inspired me and things like that. Um you know, I grew up, like I watched a lot of stand up comedy and stuff growing up. Yeah, so I watched a lot of um, like, I don't know if you guys know, like, Andrew Schultz. Mm-hmm. Andrew Schultz. Um, Jim, yeah, Jimmy O. Yang. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, who's that? What's his name? Uh, oh, I've got his name. Uh, something Peter. Uh, 
something Peter. Oh, something. Russell Peters? Oh, oh, yeah, Russell Peter. Oh, Russell yeah, Peters. Yeah, I think that's his yeah. first one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Russell I, I Peters. Mean, we grew up with watching him. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, see, like those guys, Russell. Yeah, a lot of like these comedians, and I just like, yeah, I think it's funny. Someone's gonna get hurt real bad. Yeah, real bad. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm his accents as well. <laughs> <laughs> his accents are really good. His Chinese accent, Indian accent, all good. Yeah. yeah. Really good. That's so funny. And, yeah, I just... Oh, I like growing up on YouTube, I watched like things like, you know, like My Chani and stuff, Your Chani. Oh, it's more of like an Australian... Like he's an Asian Australian guy, yeah. and he also makes like comedy skits. Like, like he was like, ages ago, like 2008, right? He was like really blowing up. And yeah, like I watched a lot of his videos growing up. And yeah, I guess like maybe that inspired me as well. Yeah. Wow, so cool. Awesome. I did yeah. watch Ryan Higa a lot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah Ryan Higa. Yeah, mm-hmm. Ryan Higa. Yeah, Kev Jumba. Oh, Kev Jumba, yeah, Ryan yeah. Higa. Yeah, those guys. Oh, so cool. yeah, there's a lot. I, I spent a lot of time on YouTube and things like that. So I watch a lot of people. Yeah. Do you do YouTube as well? Um, right now I'm just uploading like the same sh- like um, short That's videos funny. I upload on Instagram. Yeah. yeah, but I'm thinking of doing more long to uh, long form content in the future. I was gonna yeah say. yeah I was gonna ask like what's your what are your plans like in terms of your growth with your uh, content? Yeah, like, I feel like for YouTube, I'll have to change it up quite a lot. Yeah right. Because yeah, because like um, I feel like the content I'm creating right now on Instagram is quite niche. Mm. Right, and it doesn't really a niche content. I feel like doesn't do really well on YouTube, so I have to make more like broad, you know, things I like that, like mm-hmm. like like Asian videos rather than Canto mm. videos. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So those ones usually do better, and I probably go towards that path. Yeah. Wow. Oh, so awesome. That's, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got everything. You got you know so much uh, Asian cultures that it can just all be like. In, it'll be so rich. I can't wait to watch it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So uh, we always ask our guests this: um, What is your favorite Cantonese dish? If you can, uh, down to or one. if you want to name top three, top three yeah. Canto dish. Oh, top three. Tiu yim, xin yao. Tiu yim yao yu. Oh, tiu yim yao yu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tiu yim yao yu. That one. Tiu yim yao yu. Ah. Squid, fried squid. Yeah, With those, that one's like seasoning is so good. Yeah, seasoning is always the best. It's so good. Oh, I'm trying to think. I dip it in ketchup. Go, go, get yum chop. Chung fan has to be the ha ones. The poor oh, ones has to be ha. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah okay. the, I, I can't eat any. I don't know. The ha ones always the best one. It is. Especially if it's got good prawns and it like pops. It's like the Whoa. best. Pops. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, and the last one, oh, this is hard. I don't even know. Can I can I do like, <laughs> can I do like Hong Kong cafe food? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna say Toshi. Hey, <laughs> oh, yeah. I love Toshi. Yeah. yeah, I I never I, I don't eat peanut butter in any kind of like other things other than Toshi. Yeah, ex- like Toshi. <laughs> yeah, I had it for the first time in Sydney. <laughs> Oh. And I did. I didn't even get it with peanut butter. I got it with Nutella. Oh. <laughs> I was like, that's a thing. Kenneth. I was like, I like peanut butter. But I was like, Nutella. I like chocolate as well. Let me try it. But I can. I already know. I already know that. But uh, peanut butter one is also going to be yeah. good as well. Like, no, I, I wouldn't mind. It's so good. Like, mm-hmm. it's so good. No, with it's the condensed funny milk. Yeah, and then the butter yeah. on top. Oh. Yeah, the butter on top. It's so Dude, good. I like, because I went back to Macau after four years. I went to Macau and I took a picture of my story. Like, I ate, I was eating Saito. And then my friend yeah. was like, you went all the way to eat Asia to eat French toast. <laughs> I'm like, yes, it's different. It's Saito-si. It's Saito-si. It's Saito-si. No, but see, guys, like, you guys, since you guys grew up in Macau, you guys got, like, Macanese for, like, Portuguese, yes. and that's like crazy as well, yeah. Yeah. Or minty, minty or something, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you heard of minty? <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's so and, cool. Like, I think like Macau, and like I think Macau is like the first place to have um, to have what's it called like cost foods, like oh. like mix of cult, both cultures. Oh, like fusion. Yeah. yeah, fusion. Yeah, fusion, fusion. I'm pretty sure Macau that's is like the first place to have that. Like in the world. Yeah, in the world, I'm pretty really? sure. Yeah, to have Bro, fusion I'm like food. Here, like, right now. Yeah, I'm like <laughs> over here getting.
being educated by Kabbath about this, like, uh, and yeah, we're from the age of like, three. <laughs> this is I mean, we were. How did we not know that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. I mean, it kind of makes sense because we were, like, Macau was colonized, like, you know, a while ago, yeah. and then that's when food started fusing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Hong Kong yes. had UK, but UK food is... Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like I say, uh... <laughs> no, you can say it. You can say it. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Very bland. <laughs> but, like... That's how they made the cha cha tank because of the two the UK. The mix, and, right? Yeah, 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 yeah the yeah. mix. Because in like a Chinese restaurant, you'd get drew yeah. half on, right? Or, yeah, or yeah, even yeah. we were talking with um, Sheldon a couple of weeks ago, like there's fei zhao gai in Macau. Yeah, yeah, yeah fei zhao gai, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's like Portuguese, I guess. It's Portuguese, but then, yeah, because yeah, it's Portuguese. Portuguese colonized so many places mm-hmm. that they have so many of these foods and it all mixed yeah. up with Mac- Macau. Wow. Macau. Dude, that's crazy. We didn't know that. That's crazy. <laughs> Wild. Thank you for telling us this because yes. oh, thank yes, you. Thank we you. just put that two and two together. We're just like, you know, we, we always found it, we, uh, how to say, um, uh, like a, not a nuisance, but it's just like a like an extra work trying to explain to people like, oh, Macanese food. Oh, it's different. It's not Chinese. It's not Portuguese. You know, it's like... Yeah, it's a fusion. You know? Yeah, 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 it's a fusion. I always thought like it's like so hard to like explain, but and, now and it's the, like, hey, it's the first ever fusion out there. Yes. <laughs> and like the word we use to replace cha cha thing in English, we say diner. Yeah. Like it's the Macanese diner. Macanese like, diner. In America, like, you know, like diners like were like full of stuff in the yeah, menu. Yeah, full There's of stuff. A lot of different yeah. things. Yeah. That's but why. That's our diner. best way to kind of translate it. Yes. I don't even think we have diners here in Australia. I'm pretty sure we don't. <laughs> Probably, it's like, I think it's an American thing, right? Like, you know, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's only in America. Yeah. Wow, that's wild. Dude, you gotta come to New York one day. Like, I'm sure when you grow big, like coming Dude, to New York, he's gonna would get be like invited beneficial. to places, and then we'll be like, hey, let's go for wherever he goes. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys all in New York? Oh, no. Patty is yeah. from. Yeah, Florida. Florida. Uh, yeah, so yeah. east side. We're in east side. Yeah. I, I know that west side is very, like, popping with Asian. That's true. Culture. San Francisco yeah. as well. San Francisco. Chinatown. Oh, yeah, that's basically, I heard that's basically China. That's all San yeah. Francisco. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever get invited, I bet you it will be, like, somewhere there. You know what I mean? Like, you know, yeah. in the west yeah. side. No, but yeah. Isa is also a lot. You know, I feel yeah. like there's a lot of Canto speakers in Isa. I don't know, just from the things I've yeah. seen. No. Like, I think... Like, um, you know, like MC Jin and stuff like that. MC like, Jin? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I watch stuff like, and I feel like, I don't know, he's just showing stuff in, a, in New York. And so it's just like all Canto there. And so he's like, Dang. I think it used to be Fujinese, though. Oh, yeah. Was, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But then, like, I don't know, they all switched to Canto. <laughs> yeah. They're just like fucking. Wait, yeah. Fucking Yeah. I, yep. We had. Classmates from like Fuku- we had Fuku- yeah, yeah we did have I remember but not Hakka Hakka I've never like oh no nah, Hakka's I I just I never even heard of that before <laughs> oh really <laughs> like, I know what it is yeah. but I've never heard it around me neither yeah, I uncommon. haven't heard of yeah oh we learn so much from our followers actually like about um Cantonese sometimes too like when they point out stuff or like like the Hakka like I didn't know yeah or Toy Sanese to... right like all of these things oh, we didn't yeah. know growing up in Macau. Yeah. Because social media is the yeah. one that helped us. <laughs> I just I, I just spend a lot of time on YouTube. I just like, oh, that's 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 Thai Chinese. That's oh that and it's like, oh it's so similar, right? The um is it Thai, yeah, Toy Sound why it's very similar to Kanto. Yeah, yeah, yeah fan. Listening... they say hair fan. Yeah, hair fan. That's why yeah, that's why a lot of people from Guangzhou when they speak Kanto, some of them say heck fan because they grew up speaking Thai Chinese growing up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so they're like oh, heck fan, la, heck fan, la. Heck even though they speak Kanto. Right? They say things like that. Yeah, yeah. So true. And I th- I think, like, sometimes I'd hear, like, instead of ham yu, they say ham yi. Yeah. Ham yi. Ham yi. Oh. <laughs> it's like oh, the, no. the accent, like the country, more countryside. Like country. Yeah, more country. Yeah. See, that's what I mean. Like, I think, like, we can't see, you speak it with confidence, even if it's wrong. Like uh, for all ABCs out there, if you if you say a word with confidence, they probably think it's correct. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably one of the accents out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I think one time I was trying to say tang yu tang yu yako like like equivalent, right? Mm-hmm. But I said it as tang yi, right? But I said it was so so much confident. Like my this guy is from Guangzhou, right? He grew up in Guangzhou. But I said it was such confidence, he thought I was correct. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> no, it's the 
like, Western like, style. As long as you sound confident, you can be anything. Because <laughs> everything was normal until I said because I don't remember it properly. So I was like, it's tang something, right? It's tang yi something. It could be yi or yi. <laughs> So I was like, yeah, go tang yi. But I said, I said with such confidence, he was like, oh, hi, 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 hi. So like, yeah, the sound. I, yeah, I so said, like, I think we can Yes. It's just so so diverse. Like, you can mm-hmm. say it. You'll be correct if you say it with confidence. A little little tip for you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it just can't be too off. It can't be too off. Like, see, that's a small thing, right? Tang yi, tang yi. It's just, it, it's small enough that. You can mm-hmm. you can slide under the radar. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get discouraged, people. Right? Like it can only work out. And if anything, use English. So I feel like a lot of Cantonese speakers, like you know, they they morph English into their sentence a lot. That it's like, ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like Hong Kong. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go some yeah. some ga some the equals uh. Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, just, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got my sick lunch out on Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's things like that, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Ah, oh, that's great. Uh, anything that um, followers might be excited for other than your YouTube channel that's coming soon, maybe? <laughs> I think it's very to be honest. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I think it's just YouTube. That's it, guys. Like, I don't know. I don't think it's anything else, to be honest. <laughs> but I was try to keep creating videos for everybody yes. to watch hopefully yes, they can laugh please. and, and oh, yeah awesome every That's morning i'm like you know on my feet and d- like kebeth i'm like, <laughs> <just all> like <laughs> <laughs> anyone that hasn't that don't know keb please like follow kebeth on Check tiktok or instagram yeah. or both because it's gonna make your day like <laughs> even if you, even if you don't know cantonese like it's gonna make your day it's just so funny you gotta get to know <laughs> how to blow yeah, how so low? Like, eh, hey, hey, hey. Eh, hey, hey. Eh, hey, hey. Like you. Like you, man, man, chia. I can't. How do you even make that sound? It's so lazily. It's so hard. Something. It sounds very hard. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It can be the Cantonese version of... <laughs> it's like Cantonese cray. Uh, what's his name? Um, um, The guy, the giggity, the family guy. Oh, giggity. Yeah, yeah. Oh, of course, I don't know what you're talking about. The giggity, giggity. Yeah, the giggity guy. He's like, uh, no, I'm so low. I can't. Oh, I'm so low. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> but yeah, it's the house out low voice. <laughs> well, I really wish one day we're gonna all like just freaking connect in real life. Oh my god, yeah, like, that would be. You know, ah, for sure. All the Cantonese creators, can you imagine like just all in one room? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, New York, man. The meeting place will be in New York. <laughs> yes, yes, New York. New York. <laughs> New York or California or, or San Francisco. It's either one of the two. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, <laughs> or Hong yeah. Kong. <laughs> oh, Kong. Imagine. Hong yeah, we're going we're, we're to Hong Kong. disappoint them like yeah. uh, Messi did, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we will play soccer. Just kidding. <laughs> have, you been, have you been seeing how Messi have been played? And people like uh, Hong Kong, like people oh, yeah. are Do upset because they come all the way from China to mm. watch Messi, but Messi didn't didn't play because he was oh, injured. That's so so oh, that's everyone's upset. Yeah, Hong Kong. yeah. Oh, I'm gonna ask my dad. I'll ask my dad how upset he is because <laughs> he's watching the cup. <laughs> yeah, he's watching. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. Uh, all right, guys. Oh, Dude, thank this you so is much thanks for having. On. Yes, this was the guy beha- behind Ham Sablo. It was awesome. Great to get to know you. <laughs> behind the sauna. Behind yes. the... the, the <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks Thank for having me. So I'm so sorry I was late. I'm so sorry I was late. No. <laughs> no. Hey, um, it's all right. You know, it happens. And, you know, we're going to thank you for coming on even though like you found out that you were late you know what I mean it's and late there yeah. so we are like yeah. oh he's in the waiting room we're like oh do we do it now okay we're like, oh. uh. <laughs> all right but yeah, but yeah thank it's you so much, late guys. thank you so much for adjusting your time with us you know so, that's all good guys all good thanks for having me next. keep no, doing no. what you do 
加油咸湿佬，加油咸湿佬，唔该晒，唔该晒。Don't cancel the out there that we like, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Romanticizing 咸湿佬 now. <laughs> Normalize 咸湿佬 ，Normalize it. 咸湿佬有咸猪手啊，咸猪手，咸猪手。Yeah. <laughs> so right. Thank you. It's great to uh, meet you. See you guys. Thanks, guys thanks for, for having me. <laughs> bye bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> and comment. <laughs> yeah. And comment. Yes. <laughs> We always forget to say that. Hey guys. Bye bye. <laughs>